God can just talk, talk to me straight, straight ahead. And what happened is God does sometimes take you away for a season. Amen. But that season is for you to be prepared to get around people. <laughs> it's not for you to stay in that season. The big picture is that God is, is concerned about the image that he wants to be here on earth. That image is the image of Jesus Christ that he wants to, to be seen before he takes us out of here. Many people say things like, we wait, you know, it's been two something thousand years and God still hasn't come yet. The reason why he hasn't come yet because the pieces is not together. Now, I'm going to show, uh, show this big picture through a, uh, a little game that I think will, will stick with your understanding better of what I'm, I'm going to share. Um, I brought with me a puzzle piece. And I'm going to use this puzzle piece to, to show you exactly what the Holy Spirit revealed to me about the body of Christ. On the front cover of any puzzle piece, it shows you the image that you should be putting together. Okay? We're, for the sake of tonight, going to look at this as Christ. Okay? This is, this is the overall image that we're obtaining to put together. Inside this box is a bunch of pieces that have the potential, if they're all together, to look like this. If it don't look like this, it means something is wrong inside here. So what happens is now what, what has Bishop been teaching us about the, the unseen battle? This is what the enemy is fighting us because he don't want our pieces to come together. Because if we don't come together, we will never see this. So we have told people, I want to be more like Christ. I want to be more like Christ. And guess what? You ain't never going to look like Jesus Christ all by yourself. <laughs> now, that used to be my prayer. I used to sit there and say, Lord, I want to be more like you. And God says, okay, I'm going to let you be more like me, but I need another piece to connect with you. So you can be a part of the big picture. So eventually you're going to look like one image. Now go, to, go back to Ephesians. Because this thing will get good. I promise I'll be out your way. <laughs> it's going to get real good. <laughs> mm, Lord. That's for those who need a little hoop tonight. I had to get that back. Okay. <laughs> Ephesians 4 says he gave some apostles, some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. He's put these people in place because he needs these prophets, these teachers, to teach the people who's out of order to get in their rightful place because really what God is trying to do is get us to connect with each other. Now, the connection part is the part I want to, I want to take five minutes on because in the past we've said... Now, yes, all these pieces in here should have, all these pieces inside this puzzle piece should have some type of commonality. They all should be made out of the same material. <laughs> they all should have some type of resemblance of what the ultimate picture should look like. But they're all shaped differently. Each piece has a piece sticking out and a piece going in. The piece that's sticking out is your strengths. The pieces that's sticking in is your weaknesses. So the areas that you're weak in, what God will do, he'll send another piece that has a piece that's sticking out, and they'll come and connect with your weakness. I know you're clapping, but wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me tell you this, because I, I know this is good. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. I needed that right there. It was that E flat? Okay, that's all I needed to know. <laughs> if it was F sharp, we had a problem. That's E flat. That's cool. But listen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be good. I promise y'all. What happens is we have said just because they're in the same box, any pieces could come together. And this is where the devil confuses us with deception. He tells us any two of these pieces could hook up. <laughs> Do I need to go further? You got to find a piece that got the right grooves for you. What we have today, <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, what... What we have today, now, now you have to understand this. The, the danger that the enemy sees, he says, okay, I can't stop them from getting a part, becoming a part of this family. Because once you accepted Jesus Christ, you became a part of the body of Christ. So what he did, is, and, and through all your past experiences, the guy has been shaping you all that time, giving you your different grooves, your in and outs, because he sees you hooking up with somebody else, eventually to make the overall picture. Think about the big picture. That's what I'm going to keep before you. So you are a big piece in this whole puzzle. But if you, if this piece here is supposed to hook up with this piece, and this piece is on this side, and this piece is on this side, what happens is the enemy will try to get another piece to hook up here with this piece. And what we do is we say, 
It looked like it fit. And we force it. And what happens? It starts bending. Pieces start breaking. People get injured and they leave the church. And we wonder, why is people, why is this happening? Why can't we come together? It's because th th this is where the enemy is hitting us at right now. We think the devil is doing this, and the devil is sitting here saying, don't hook up with that person. Don't hook up with that person. And then another problem we have is we hook up with too many people. Because <laughs> guess what? All these pieces only got, what, four sides. One, two, three, four. That means you got four pieces that should be hooking up to you. <laughs> y'all don't like this, but it's the truth. Some of y'all got 20. That's, what, that's why you're going crazy. <laughs> That's why you sit up all night drinking coffee because you don't know who's supposed to be hooking up with you. It shouldn't be that many people. Even Christ knew that. He didn't take everybody with him. <laughs> Jesus was like, wait a minute. There's a, I love everybody, but there's only a few people that, that's supposed to hook up with my group <laughs> because their strength is, my, is where I'm weak. Your next blessing is hooked up to that person. Look at your neighbor and say, your next blessing is hooked up to that person. So why are you on your knees talking about, Lord, bless me by my finances? Guess what? That person that God has ordained for you to hook up with to make this picture got that money in their pocket. But that's why he tells us to humble ourselves. You know why? Because when that person come, if you're not humble, you're going to say, I don't want to hook up with you. And that person got everything you need. <laughs> Lord, help us. Now, now, he says, till we all come. He didn't say till you come. This is where we have to start changing our prayers. Many of us say, Lord, bless me. When you pray for me, my next decision is going to affect this whole church. You know why? Because it's, guess what? I'm part of this piece. And if I'm out of order, if one puzzle piece is out of order, guess what? You go see it. So he says he's looking for a church without spot, <laughs> wrinkle, or blemish. So what he's saying is if a piece is out of joint, He's still saved, but he's out of place. So we can't, let have, we can't see this clearly yet. You think you're supposed to be without spot. He says, until I see the whole picture without spot. That's when I'm going to blow that trumpet and we get in the body here. But he don't see it yet. That's why we're still here. And it's 2,000 years ago because we got some people over here. I'm saved. I'm starting my own stuff. And God says, hook up with this person right there. I don't like their attitude. That's the person that got your miracle. 